Let's go to you. All right. My topic is about birthdays. Birth. So when this when this goes up, uh, it'll be Thursday that this goes up, or Wednesday? No, Wednesday this will go up. Your birthday is this week, right? It's tomorrow. Oh. Happy early birthday. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I beat all the bastards. <laughs> it's tomorrow. But so when this goes up, it's going to be like four days after or five days after or whatever. Um, but I just want to say, I want to talk about how useless birthdays are. <laughs> I can get behind this. How, how completely useless. Even not even my birthday, just birthdays mm-hmm, in general. Mm-hmm. Right. Just go into somebody's birth. Like, I feel like when we go to somebody's birthday, it's just like every other fucking day. <laughs> I'll tell you what, birthdays are important to people 12 and under. Cause you're I, w- I would actually say maybe even 16 un- and under. Or maybe even like, yeah, I would say 16 and under. Yeah. I get- because like, at 16, you're like, yeah, that's my sweet 16. Yeah, that's about no, it. No, I didn't give a maybe, shit about that. <laughs> maybe drinking, I don't know, at 19? 19? You know, I, I, my most exciting birthday was when I could get my license when I was 16. Yeah. I wasn't even excited about my birthday. I was excited about being able to go and get my driver's license. That's the mm-hmm. most excited I can remember. The next, I guess, is probably like not even excited at nineteen, just having all those like limits taken away from you. And then twenty one <laughs> was the last big one because it was like I can go to the states now and drink and go to the casinos and gamble, right? Like when I went to yeah. Vegas and I was twenty one, it was so it was fun. Yeah. Right? Because it's like, hey, I could do everything here. It was nice. Yeah, uh, I think for me it was probably 8, 19, I think was the biggest one. And then everything after that was just kind of like whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I guess 21 would be big for me because my brother lives in the States. So, like, when when I would go visit him, it would be... Like, I, I don't think I visited him before I was 21 anyways, though. Yeah. I don't think he moved out. But, but yeah, I think, like, just birthdays in general are just a waste of time. I, like, like you know, like... like People ask me, what do you, you want to do for your birthday? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You want to go to a bar and stuff? I was like, no, I just want to go to like Earl's or some shit. <laughs> just yeah. so I can have some drinks and come home. And eat. Eat food and then, some booze. And... Yeah, because like, I think on Saturday, uh, we're all coming back here and playing Overcooked. What the hell's that? It's a PlayStation game where it's, it's a four-player PlayStation game where you are chefs in a kitchen. Really? And you have to work together. So, like, sometimes, it, like, the, the kitchen might be split up into two, and, like, you have to, like, make burgers. Mm-hmm. So, one side has, like, the buns and the lettuce, and the other side has the tomatoes and... Oh, the... I've seen that game. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so you gotta, like, go back and forth. Yeah, yeah. that's and, like, cool. You order in, and then the, the dishes come back in the dirties, so you have to put the dishes away and yeah. clean them, and then it's, like, it's, it's actually really fun. It's stressful, because we start yelling at each other and shit, but it's a fun game. See, things it's like very... that are, like, more fun than, like, going out... I don't know, man. I don't know what you do, but everything hurts more now when you do it. If you have a night of excessive drinking, it hurts more the next day. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, and plus I this year is a little bit more stressful for me because of work and stuff. But like, but it just in general, it's just, man, birthdays just aren't the same. You know, man. I just, I just never. We never really like in my house, like growing up, never really had like big celebrations for birthdays. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I remember for my birthday getting, like, a CD and, like, um, like a Game Boy game or things like that. Like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't, and I think it was good of my parents to do that, to be, like, listen, like, my birthday's at the end of November, so Christmas is coming. So, to spend a lot of money then and at Christmas was kind of stupid, I think, growing up, right? But, yeah. uh, like, I think they said, like, hey, like, happy birthday. Here's, like, a little gift. And, I mean, like, really, like it's not that special. It's no. the day that your mom's body decided to shoot you out. That's about it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, but I, for, for our birthdays, like for me and my brother and my sister and stuff, my parents just pretty much get a cake now and that's it. Yeah. Dude, like that's, that's it. Like, even if we're not in town, they just get a cake. Yeah. And, and they're like, yeah, this is how we're going to celebrate the birthday now. Dude, that, and you know what? That's good enough, right? Yeah, that's perfect. I'm at the point now where, you know, I don't need anyone to get me anything. If someone gets me something, man, that's really nice. Like, thanks very much. But, like, I don't need anything. Like, that's the thing. See, even at Christmas, people are like, what do you need? It's like, listen, I don't <laughs> need anything. Like, I'm an adult. If I, if I need something, I buy it. Yeah, like, like one, one of the chicks I was talking to, she's like, so what do you, what do you want for your Christmas present? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I know. No like, shit. seriously, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any, like, desires for a Christmas present. Because you get things you want. 
right? You just yeah. you work hard and you buy things that you want when you feel like it, right? Like you bought your iPhone. Yeah. Like you don't have to worry about at- waiting for Christmas and saving up Christmas and birthday money for that shit, right? Yeah, those days are not those days are gone, right? Mm-hmm. Like that that doesn't happen anymore. No. So yeah, and you know what my issue is? People ask me things, and then they're like, "What do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas?" It's like, man, I don't want anything. I'm like, just if, if I'm like, if you really feel the need to get me something, just give me a gift card. And everyone's like, "Well, that's not personal." It's like, "Well, listen, if you want to give, give me a personal give me, gift, don't give, give me, me anything." Give me iTunes gift card, and I'll be fucking good to go, or a PlayStation Plus card, or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly, something like something that's not going to go away. I can add it to my account, and when there's something I want down the road, I can get it, and I only have to pay forty bucks instead of sixty or something, right? Don't ever get me a fucking Starbucks card because I'll hate you for the rest of your life. Oh, you don't like Starbucks? I don't go to Starbucks, so like, <laughs> I put. I put uh, 20 bucks on a Starbucks card and 17 bucks is still sitting there. Like, uh, I don't know what to do with this money anymore. Just go get some breakfast sandwich or something one day. They're good. I don't, I don't want to. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lose weight. So it's just kind of. <laughs> That's counterintuitive. Yeah. I had one I'm trying to go with the low carbs thing, but I'm going for sushi tonight. So that's. How's the low carbs thing going? It's well, I was off the fucking wagon for the last week well, because of sick, getting right? sick. Yeah, my diet goes fucking down the shitter. That's a good way to lose weight, though, being sick like that with the flu. I eat more when I'm sick. Oh, do you? Yeah, I'm I'm the complete opposite when it comes to the flu. Like it's terrible. it almost helps you feel better to eat more. Yeah, hmm. but it doesn't because I'm still fucking sick. But anyways, I'm going for sushi, so I don't know if that's really low carbs either. But sushi's healthy though. That's good. That's a good eating out yeah. choice, I think. Yeah, like it's better than eating fucking McDonald's. McDonald's or like Tim Hortons or something. Or just even a burger somewhere. Um, yeah. Uh, back to the topic, though. Yes, yeah, uh, birthdays. Birthdays. <coughs> I honestly, at this point, if I didn't have Facebook... What do, what do you feel about going to people's birthdays? You know what, man? If someone invites me... And I, like, I shouldn't say that uh, I wouldn't do it because I do. And, like, for my birthday, man, I don't say, like, oh, let's all hang out. I'm, I say, listen, man, I'm going to the Shogun restaurant in town because I get my birthday dinner for free. And I really like the Shogun. <laughs> if you would like to come, let me know. I'll add you to the reservation. That's it, man. If you want to come over after and hang out for a bit, cool. But, like, if not, if no one shows, it's just me and Carrie, that's fine by me, man. If I didn't have Facebook yeah. and have all these people that I talk to never wish me a happy <laughs> birthday that I don't care about, it's nice. That's what I- that's what I'll be getting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, really, like, if you get a, if you get 50, let's just say you get 50, of those 50 people, how many people do you actually interact with, like, more than once a month? I only interact with, like, four people, man. <laughs> yeah, see, me too. I'm, you, I, don't, I don't have an exciting life. <laughs> no, I don't either. So it's like, I don't, I've removed half the people from Facebook. I think I have, like, 50. So it's like, if none of those people said happy birthday to me on facebook i wouldn't give a shit i'm not gonna say happy birthday on facebook i'll text you it's more personal yeah exactly like that's the thing too like when like when birthdays come up like uh one of my good friends uh her birthday comes up i text her i don't send anything to her on facebook or anything i just text her to be like happy birthday i hope you have an awesome day you know like that kind of thing putting on facebook like even like Devin, like those guys or like their sister derek whatever sunny i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put it on their facebook no I, I want to th- actually message them and be like, dude, happy birthday. Yeah. I feel like the people that you mess... And I, I shouldn't say this because I think I have obviously sent just people happy birthday on Facebook. Sometimes you get the notification on your phone and it's easy. You just do it there. You're not thinking. But like 95% of the people that I actually give a shit about, I text. And the rest of them, it, if I see it and I feel like it, I say happy birthday on Facebook. Those are the people really that like... It's more of like an acquaintance than anything. Yeah, or it's no, like timing. You went on Facebook for a minute and you saw it was a birthday and you're like, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> that's it. I, don't, I do happy birthday when, with an exclamation point, man. That's it. <coughs> I don't go like, oh, can't, we should hang. No, it's just happy birthday. Yeah, it's just happy birthday. It's not happy, happy 26th birthday. It's, 27th, it's just happy birthday. <laughs> the, most, the most generic message, happy birthday. <laughs> and and take, they can take it however they want, man. It's like, well, no, we're really not that close. I just was in good enough mood to say happy birthday. <laughs> the most cookie cutter way to yeah, do something. Yeah, straight up. Too. Happy birthday, one exclamation point. And yeah, I, I could I could give or take that to be fair. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I don't know, man. It just seems like I said. I think it's, I think it's a thing. Same with Christmas, man. I think it's a thing for children. That I just got a happy birthday text from my coworker. That's in India right now. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well, it's probably your birthday there. Ha, it's I nine, said it first. nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock in the morning there. Oh, I said it first, though. I win. It's not my birthday here. Yeah, I said happy early, so I win before. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's for kids. And uh, once you get older, man, and you're working, you know what you want, like around Christmas time and things. You want time off. Yeah. You don't need the presents. Take away the presents and give me an extra like two, three days off for a weekend, and I'd much rather have that than some materialistic issue. Here's the final issue I have with like birthdays and Christmas, man. People will give you things, like I said, like a gift card or maybe they won't give you a gift card. They give you like a pair of pajama pants or something. And um, then, you know, months go by and they're like, oh, like, how do you enjoy your birthday present? And then you sit there. You're like, I have no idea what you got me. <laughs> and you just create an awkward situation where like you're just like, oh, yeah, thanks. Like it's like half of it's gone it's garbage i've used it or whatnot and it's just it just makes another issue of me to have to deal with something yeah right a little yeah. kid's gonna remember but, that little toy you got him or, or whatever but i'm not gonna remember what color pajama pants you bought me exactly right buy me something buy me a card that's it just give that's me a fucking thing, card the, and i'm not saying it because i don't I'm just saying it because, listen, I don't know right now. It'll be in my wallet, and when I want something or I think of it, it's there and I can use it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's it's different when you're an adult, right? But, yeah, I, 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 I'm I going to have a low-key birthday. Nothing crazy. That, dude, Except that if you get, like, a Snapchat at, like, 2 in the morning and me going crazy. But that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> well, you know what? If you were feeling better, maybe... Yeah, that too. Yeah, but I can feel the it. sickness leaving. Can you? It's like a demon I can, I can, in your body. Yeah, I can feel it. Like just, it's just slowly withering away. That's good, man. I I tweeted out um, that uh, you know the sickness is going away when uh, somebody messages you and saying I'm sick, you, and that was my, the, my boss messaged me saying like I'm kind of sick, and then he saw the tweet. <laughs> the next day he's yeah. like i knew you were talking about me i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the thing he took it from you carrie always says that she'll be sick she's like take the sickness from me give me a kiss i'm like no nah, man you want to know something yeah that's i've been really <coughs> lucky for the last couple of years i'm not getting really, like <coughs> little sicknesses i i have days where i don't feel like 100 percent, but i actually haven't had like the put me out on my ass three four days sick in a long time this not this one like, wasn't like put me on my ass kind of thing i had like one day that was kind of like that but like it was um, it was because my cousins that are in Abbotsford, they were all sick, and then we went for a car ride to go pick up dinner and stuff, and I think oh. that's that's where I got it. You you got the germ air cycle, man. Yeah, I should have just went like this the entire fucking time. Dude, that's the biggest thing I have with airplanes. You're just recycling the air. If people are sick, man, you're breathing that shit in. Especially if you're on a True plane that. for like four or five hours, right? True that. Think of even like conventions. Everyone says like once they leave packs and stuff, they get the packs oh, you flu. Get the Pax, pl- uh, the Plax, Pax Plague. Yeah, everyone gets sick, right? Yeah. You got to like hand sanitize everywhere where like the Asians do the fucking mask the whole time. Yeah, the masks. That's every all time, I see here. Every time I see that though, and, like at the university, I see people doing that all the time. I'm like, you know what, man? You have SARS, don't you? <laughs> That's the only thing that I see. reminds of. you of SARS it the is, entire time. The SARS epidemic and all I remember for that was chickens and Asians wearing masks. That was it. <laughs> so when I see them, I'm like, you either know something I don't or you got SARS. That's it. That's so funny. That's no, it's that's... Kind of uh, but uh, I'm excited for my birthday to come and go. Your birthday's coming up, right? In November? Yeah, November 28th, end of the month. Just another day. I wake up, go to school. So man. many goddamn birthdays, man. Dude, you know what? On, on the 27th and 28th. On, of November? Of November. There's like eight of them. Really? Yeah. My cousin's birthday's the same day as me, and I only have three cousins. It's crazy. And I haven't talked to we... a decade, though. You guys don't talk to your cousins. Dude, I got a picture. I added my one cousin on Facebook maybe in the summer. It was the first time I seen a picture for in like a decade. No, I mean, I literally, they could have walked into my house. I would have phoned the police because someone's breaking into my house. <laughs> it's, that's bad, like I'm related dude. to you. No, you're not. Yeah, no, I've, I've never seen you in my idea. life. No idea. I've, <laughs> met, I've met my dad's cousins from Slovenia more in the last 10 years than I've met the people seven hours away from me. Oh, man, Dude, life's crazy weird. like that sometimes, hey, when you think about it. You're so close, yet so far. But I feel like that only happens in your guys' culture, not in our culture. That's true. Like, our, like my... I don't know, man. I probably should communicate with my grandparents more, but... You always make an excuse, like, oh, I don't have time or whatever. You have lots of time, you're just fucking lazy. 
You just have to call. That's all you got to do. And then one day they'll be gone, and you're like, man, I wish I would have talked to them one more time. I know that's what I'm going to say. I'm like, man, I haven't talked to them in three months. I should. I wish I would And I know it. It's going to fucking eat me up. But I, I, I kind of wish I was there for Thanksgiving. For people that are listening, Thanksgiving is this weekend in Canada. for Canada. It's, and I was, I was hoping to be back there, but plane tickets and work and stuff, it just wasn't was it in the cards well you you're, you're going to come up for christmas all right yeah for christmas 100% yeah i will be there for christmas Start because for nobody seat else sales, is going. man yeah cuz i'm not driving no you want to so take a bus during christmas that's shitty or yeah. drive dude just do what my brother does that's what my brother does most of the time and then like he's coming up for thanksgiving this year i don't think he did last year but for christmas he always comes up but usually the rest of the year he like looks for seat sales and finds like a $110 flight here at $110 home. It's like 220 and he just books a week off around then. Yeah. Because like he said, he I can't even to... drive here for that cheap. With this car, gas is more than 230 bucks, right? Yeah. So, and, and you're a 20 hour yeah. car, not three in a plane. Right? Hour and a half, or hour and 10 here, hour 10 there. Yeah, an hour and 10, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're like two instead hours. Of, instead of doing 16 hours. That's the thing, right? And I mean... People think it's so overpriced, but I, I'm not working right now. But when you have a job, say you make thirty bucks an hour, figure you got to figure what your time is worth. If you make thirty bucks an hour at work, well, let's just say your your time is worth thirty bucks an hour, and thirty bucks an hour times sixteen hours in a car is more money than it is for a flight, and that's your time, right? So that's what I that's how I view things now. Yeah, no, I like. I wouldn't. I don't mind the drive in the winter time, or in the summertime. Yeah. I like the drive in the summer because I like the the canyons and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Uh, but like when it comes to winter time, fuck that shit. Yeah, dude, it's not worth it. You could die yeah. so easy. Yeah, you fuck hit some that black shit. ice. You slide into the other lane. You're dead. Yeah, that's not worth it. All because you wanted to save a couple hundred bucks. That hundred bucks is insignificant when you're six feet in the ground. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. If, if you had a say, say you you got a wife and you're here and she's there and she's like, I don't want to fly. It's four hundred dollars. And you're like, and she drives and she dies because of four hundred bucks. You know how much stupid shit you spend four hundred bucks on your life, right? I spent yeah. four hundred dollars on fucking magic cards in a week before. Like, let's get serious, <laughs> man. I'll take a flight there and back any day for four hundred bucks. I spent a little bit more than four hundred bucks on this thing. Yeah, and that's just a materialistic item. It's not even like a person, you know. Yeah. Life. Yeah. People are crazy, man. No, I, I'm willing to spend like four hundred bucks to go to Prince George, but like when it comes, it gets to about five fifty, six hundred yeah, bucks. That's a little. Nope. And then the thing is too, you're like, okay, well, it's middle of October, and then I'm gonna leave, and I'll be back in like five weeks. Two months. Yeah. So it's like, phone everyone, say happy Thanksgiving, come up. You know, in Christmas, it's way it's way smarter to do that. Exactly. Hmm. Cool, man. All well, right, I am go. gonna go play Gears of War four early, bitches. <laughs> I I don't have a, I, uh, you don't okay. Care. But to anyone, <laughs> I don't have I don't have an Xbox. So, dude, uh, like I was saying, my post went wow. That's cool. That's the first like not do that really viral, but like big thing I've ever had happen. It's kind of cool. Do that with one of our podcasts, so we get to go. Dude, some guy... I, okay, so uh, 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 one final thing. So I took a picture of me holding the game in front of my computer, right? And at the first one I, I took, I had tabs open of, like, uh, school and a couple other things. And then I was like, oh, well, I don't want... Like, my name was showing on one. It said, like, Dean. And I was like, oh, I took a repicture. I, like, deleted everything except for Reddit. And I covered, like, my username, and stuff, which doesn't matter. I posted to my username. But uh, I'm glad I was thinking that because I wasn't even thinking about like what kind of information you could leak through just like a photo without really thinking about it. So yeah. as soon as like I was scrolling through comments and imagery, this one guy, he's like the first thing I always look for is like the Pornhub tabs <laughs> because <laughs> I've seen pictures of people who post oh, yeah. there's like two guys getting railed in ass like on, the <laughs> on the, uh, their search bar and stuff. It's so funny. So that's I, so funny. Uh, I was like kind of nervous about that, but I didn't screw up. There's no gay porn on my search history. Or my search <laughs> bar or whatever. So, <laughs> you um, smoked too soon, search yeah. history. Um, but anyways, what I was going to say is a guy did post. I, he saw my podcast tab in my, on Chrome. And he was yeah. like, what's that? So I like sent him a link to our show and stuff. So Well, it was like getting deep, so maybe some people saw that post. So We'll see. Yeah. There's yeah. a guy that I play Final Fantasy with. He wants to come on. Mm. I was talking to Dylan today. For the first time in a while, he said uh, he wants to come on, so we'll have him on maybe one day too. Nice. Anyways, do the outro. You're, you're going to be the outro guy. 
Whoa, I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, thanks for listening to episode 60 of the Maximum Capacity Show, a topical podcast where Harvey and me each bring a topic and discuss and banter <laughs> and lose our minds and go so far off of what the topic was, it isn't even funny. But it is, it is funny <laughs> because sometimes true. we find a way back. Um, so if true. you want to follow us on social media, I am at Maximum Dean on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. And you can find Harv on all the same things at Harv Parmar. Yeah, and, doctor. Uh, you can download the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, everywhere, pretty much. Just type in Maximum Capacity Show when we come up. That's it. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.